Hong Kong street food is characterized as the ready-to-eat snacks and drinks sold by hawkers or vendors at food stalls, including egg tarts, fish balls, egg waffles and stinky tofu, according to the definition provided by the Food and Agriculture Organization. They can be found throughout the city, especially around Mong Kok, Causeway Bay, Yuan Long, Suen Wan, and Kun Tong. Characteristics Street food is ready to be taken away and eaten elsewhere instantly. Generally, the customers are served snacks, which are contained in polystyrene boxes, with disposable bamboo sticks or plastic utensils. Street food needs to be sold along the street, even though nowadays the junkers have transformed into shops without providing seats, but the sales are still being done along the street. Food can easily be taken away via small plastic bags, paper bags or bowls. Besides, people can simply taste the street food using the disposable tableware like plastic spoons or bamboo sticks provided by the shops. The nutritionists prove that, comparing to other food, street food sold is often cooked in greater portion of oil such as fried squid legs and hawkers usually add much sugar or salt for seasoning. According to travel websites timeout.com and about.com in 2013, the snacks prices averaged between $1 to $25 and were found to be most acceptable to Hong Kongers. Cultural research suggests that food stalls supply a variety of snacks, including both local and international, ranging from red bean pudding from Guangdong to Thai prawn cutlets. History Ancient snack stalls According to Tang Zian, Chinese, Tang Ji, selected words from the Tang, Hawkers had sold cold food on the streets to get relief during summer heat as early as the Tang Dynasty. Then, during Qing Dynasty, the street-side snack stalls gradually developed into street markets. As highlighted in a feature article namely, Finding the Dining Habit of the Unemployed. Chinese, Xuan Zhao de Mo Yin Shi The scene of hawkers carrying wood barrels, traditional wares and stoves has become part of the history of local street snacks. Development in 20th century In the 1950s, facing the economic downturn and high unemployment rate, the majority of grassroots were forced to become itinerant hawkers to maintain their livelihood. Owing to the limited resources, rough canopies, cooking stove and wooden carts were used. Considering the effectiveness and convenience, they sold the snacks on mobile carts in the main streets to maximize revenue. During the post-war period, the political stability and economic development of Hong Kong attracted immigrants from mainland China. At that time, 300,000 of them worked as hawkers, including street food hawkers. The growth in the number of itinerant hawkers fostered the development of street food culture. These hawkers mainly served the lower income group. These stalls were in form of junkers, a kind of wooden car with wheels, allowing these junkers to be pulled and pushed around. The food was very often cheap in price and with many variations. They became very popular during 1950s to 1960s. However, the Hong Kong government has banned these type of shops in order to build a hygienic image of the society while maintaining public health. Thus, the owners attempted to run their business in a shop instead of utilizing their own junkers. Although the original style of wooden junker service has more or less been changed, the types of food being sold are the same as those in the past. Contemporary development From the 1970s to 1980s, several changes concerning the development of street snacks were caused by the following factors. Governmental factor In 1970s, the government adopted an oppressive attitude towards hawkers instead of the laissez-faire approach adopted before. This showed in the change in government policies. For example, the government stopped issuing itinerant hawker licenses to control the number of hawker stalls since 1979. Later, the Urban Council and the Regional Council implemented a policy to eliminate hawkers in 1995. All of the above actions suppressed the prevalence of street food at that time. Hygiene factor the street snacks contained germs like cholera and Escherichia coli. According to a publicity film released by the Medical and Health Department in 1987, food stalls were considered unhygienic in terms of their environment and cooking process. 
In the video, a hawker was shown smoking while selling snacks. His stall was located beside a busy road and the floor was wet with rubbish and sewage. This unhygienic condition aroused customer concern, which acted as a catalyst for change. Social factor Often crowds surrounding hawkers' carts are seen as causing inconvenience to other pedestrians. In some cases, the elderly might slip as they walked over the puddles, while children might get hurt by the boiled oil from the stalls. The safety concern and disturbance to the public aroused their discontent towards street hawkers. Changes made in the contemporary society Over the past few decades, Hong Kong street food has changed its operation. Introduction of new legislation The government has set a quota in the licenses provided. According to the official document, they have let 233 contracts for fixed-pitch hawkers and 93 contracts for itinerant hawkers until 2011. The number of hawkers has decreased compared to 2005, in which there were 1,075 contracts for fixed-pitch hawkers. To maintain a safe and clean environment, the government has also controlled hawking activities through laws. They are listed below. Sections 83 to 86D of the Public Health and Municipal Services Ordinance, Cap.132. Hawker Regulation, Cap.132, Sub. Leg. Food Business Regulation, Cap.132, Sub. Leg, and Section 4A of the Summary Offenses Ordinance, Cap.228. Improvement in Hygiene Condition. Street food is readily available for sale and hawkers keep them boiling during operation to prevent the growth of bacteria. Fried foods such as three stuffed treasures, are refried before being served to customers so as to lower the bacteria count. Change in operation mode Due to the limited supply of itinerant licenses and the introduction of a compulsory deletion policy, hawkers have a fixed bunk after moving into shopping malls. The distribution of street snacks was geographically dispersed throughout Hong Kong before. But nowadays, street snacks are mainly located in six districts, including Eastern, Central and Western, Wan Chai, Yao Sim Mong, Sham Shui Po and Kowloon City. Importance to Hong Kong Local tourism and international recognition the worldwide popularity of local street snacks has fostered tourism in Hong Kong. It is recognized locally and internationally. The Hong Kong Tourism Board website featured street food as must-eat food, while for the overseas media, the CNN Travel has opened a column especially for Hong Kong street snack. According to Reuters. Article, Hong Kong Street Food Gourmets was ranked the first in the top 10 street food cities by online travel advisor CheapFlights.com in 2013. In short, the above honor has arisen Hong Kong citizens' appreciation towards the local street food culture. Demonstration of core values in Hong Kong Street snacks have epitomized Hong Kong s core values of cultural diversity. An example can be the emergence of street stalls selling foreign treats like takoyaki and Indonesia skewers. This showed the diversity of choices of street snacks and matches Hong Kong's title of gourmet paradise. Despite all changes, it can also represent Hong Kong's identity. For example, the name of Hong Kong-style egg waffle showed its local origin. The alterable essence of local street food has demonstrated Hong Kong cultural acceptance and serves as a medium to display its character to the world. In 2015, a marked rise in nativist sentiment led to the growing influence of localist groups such as Civic Passion and Hong Kong Indigenous. Localists, feeling that street vendors, who generally representing the bottom stratum of Hong Kong society, were being increasingly oppressed by a government colluding with commercial interests and property owners, offered high-profile support for the traditional Lunar New Year Quailin Street Night Market in 2015 when it was targeted for closure by the Tsai Leung administration. 
On the eve of Lunar New Year in 2016, FEHD inspectors carried out a pre-emptive raid against street vendors in Sham Shui Po, and made arrests and seizures. This led to the 2016 Mong Kok civil unrest, where nativists defended stall holders from being victimized by FEHD inspectors and engaged in confrontations with the police. List of common Hong Kong street food See also Hawkers in Hong Kong List of street foods Mobile stalls in Hong Kong References External links Media related to street food in Hong Kong at Wikimedia Commons